The news, good evening. Officials have stopped a contractor from using a barge to deliver building materials to a construction site at Anselamouche. The planning authority says UCPS didn't get approval to use a flat bottom boat which arrived in the bay on Monday. It uh, has also condemned the disposal of trees from the site, which it says the company sent uh, to the landfill tip. But UCPS has denied the claims, saying the barge operation was approved and it has not been throwing away timber. Every day, lorry is laden with rubble heading to the controversial Anselamouche Hotel development site. But now the building contractor UCPS is accused of breaking its environmental promises. It's claimed it used a barge to deliver construction materials without first getting the necessary approval. We are the authorities and they must respect the law of the land. So this is clear. They accepted that they jumped the gun, like you said, and they intend to uh, make it right in whatever way that is uh, required. The vessel disturbed the sandy seabed. Officials have acknowledged that building the 120-room four-star property is bound to make some mess, but it's criticised UCPS for failing adequately to undertake public consultations. At the end of the day, it's not really a major impact that left so many scars. But they have re resorted it to, well, to uh, an acceptable, uh, acceptable manner. Sculptor Alci Libinotis has a unique view of the development just across the bay from his studio. He wishes that hundreds of trees felled on the site had been saved and recycled. Amid concern, many were simply transported away to the landfill. There's a lot of things that you can do in wood. If the case is that uh, trees are being cut and thrown away, Definitely we'll have done something about it, for instance, contacting artists such as myself and others and see if uh, we needed those, those wood and how we can get it. They batched some of the, the, the trees back and they said they were going to put it on the landfill. But this goes against one of the conditions where we told them that uh, they, need, uh, they should give it away. UCPS's boss has rejected the government's claims, saying the company fully complied with its promises about the barge and the timber. In a statement he went on, this is an internal private matter in a contract between us and the client, adding that any part of the tree that has commercial value will not end up at the landfill, only part of the roots will. Months after protests stopped and construction began, differences about the development are still making waves in the Tranquil Bay. PUC is advising members of the public to conserve water in view of the current dry season and says that it is not imposing restrictions for the time being and bans on treated water for non-potable purposes. Speaking during a press conference this afternoon, PUC's public relations officer, Brigitte Payet, said that the corporation is continuously monitoring the situation and will implement these measures as per its water shortage uh, contingency plan, if the need arises. Currently, the washer dam, which is the only dam still operational, is at 79% capacity. Work to increase the capacity of the other dam, Lagog, is still ongoing, and it will be completed in about a year from now. To accommodate for water shortages over the years, PUC has invested in projects to improve its efficiency, such as using more desalinated water to complement fresh water. It has increased its desalination plant capacity by about 4,500 meter cubic square and reduced the volume of water lost along its pipeline network from 55 to 25 percent. It has also completed 92 percent of its program to replace worn out pipelines. During the southeast monsoon, when it's usually dry, PUC doesn't expect a lot of rainfall soon and is urging the public to conserve water before resorting to stringent measures. If uh, the dry season prolongs, if there is a need to um, uh, impose any restrictions, members of the public will be um, uh, informed in due, in due course. So far, all desalination plants, except for Prale, are operational. So we are using desalinated water to complement um, fresh water to supply to members of the public. So in view of the um, uh, current uh, dry season we're experiencing, PUC is urging uh, members of the public to 
conserve water as much as possible. And this can be achieved through making smaller adjustments or changes to how we um, uh, use water in our daily lives. For example, to uh, close the taps while brushing our teeth or soaping our hands. And uh, we would like also to request that members of the public avoid washing cars or transport in general during these times. Students from public schools at creche, primary and secondary levels will be starting their holidays as of next week. This will be for three weeks. The Principal Secretary of School Services, Dr. Odile Lukumamo, said that the date for the August holidays have been moved up due to the increase in COVID-19 cases in the schools. She said that the Ministry will continue to monitor the situation and if everything goes well, classes will resume on the 19th of July. A number of schools have been closed already and the numbers are increasing. So um, uh, uh, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, it uh, was felt that it's better we take this decision now to shift the August vacation uh, earlier. And uh, this holiday will be split into two. Um, the first one will be the three weeks, three weeks uh, as of uh, Monday. For these three weeks, the first week, teachers will be coming to school to, to ensure that uh, there are learning paths for, children, for the, all the students. And then the two other weeks will be the holidays. And then during the course of the third term, we will give the other two weeks uh, for them. The University of Seychelles will tomorrow host its first ever virtual graduation. This is being done in view of the current regulations and restrictions in place where in-person graduation ceremonies cannot take place. The University of Seychelles will be having its first ever virtual graduation. We will be graduating 240 students with two ceremonies, one at 10 a.m. and one at 2 p.m. The students have been sent a link via YouTube to follow as well as the general public can follow via this link. Students are encouraged to engage with the university whilst they're graduating on the day by sending us pictures and short videos so that we can upload. So this is a form of engagement that we will have with the student. The ceremony itself will be basically the same as in person, but they will be following that virtually. The School of the Death is now officially a member of the care club community now that the school has launched its care club. The launching of the club was held today at the school in the presence of the First Lady, Linda Ramkalawan. Parents, teachers and students of the school also present were students from the Montfleury and the exceptional schools representatives of the Ministry of Education and the staff of CARE. The event was co-organized by the CARE and uh, the School of the Deaf, as it was also the launch of the CARE prevention theme, Écoute la voix, bonnes enfants, listen to the voice of the children. Every year we launch a theme, um, and this year we, we, we're launching the theme of a very important theme, listen to the, the voice of our children. and. Uh, Especially the deaf, they cannot talk. I mean, they, very often, even if they can't hear, they can't talk. And it's symbolical that really we need to listen with our hearts. We need to listen with our hearts to all the children because it, it doesn't matter if it's your child or not child. You have to listen to the children. And as we're launching the theme, and they wanted to open their care club, so it makes a good combination of, of, of marrying the launching of their care club with the launching of our yearly theme, which I hope will, will, will make a difference in the lives of many children. The National Assembly has passed three bills that are necessary for the Civil Code of Seychelles Act to come into force as of the 1st of next month. This act was passed by the 6th National Assembly in August last year and assented to by President Wevel Kalawan on the 4th of January this year. The bills presented by Vice President Ahmed Afif address, uh, amongst other issues, amendments to other acts that are required as a consequence of the enactment of the Civil Code of uh, Seychelles Act. They are also amending the Curatel Act, proposing that a curator will appoint executors and fiduciaries. The object and purpose of this bill is to align the present law relating to Curatel with provisions in the revised Civil Code of Seychelles Act. 
And with this we end the news summary. Thank you for watching. Have a very pleasant evening.